Randy Lavold with Cub Crafters. Tell us a little bit about what's new for 2013 with your not only your LSA airplanes, but also your certified aircraft. Well, for 2013, we uh, came off a good year in 2012. In fact, it was a record for us. Mm -hmm. So it's really an evolutionary year. We're continuing to make small improvements to the aircraft. And the Carbon Cub, for example, got quite a raft of changes for 2013. A new cowling, new heating system, and some minor avionics upgrades. Was that the result of customer feedback that you got or additional research and development? You know, both. We listen to our customers all the time, but of course we fly the airplanes too, and we know where we'd like to improve them, and we just never stop working on it. Let's talk about this new cowling a little bit, because that's something that might actually really affect the performance of the airplane. What kind of improvements did you see out of that? About a 40 degree reduction in cylinder head temperatures, really. It cooled well before, but customers on the west coast that fly in the mountains, high density altitude environments, it cooled adequately, but we didn't have quite the margin we wanted. So we went back to the drawing board and studied the whole thing. Lots of measurements. It took about six months to do, and we're real pleased now because we've got much more margin. East Coast people, it probably won't make a difference to them, but for those that fly in the mountains, uh, I think they'll appreciate it. What kind of customers do you see for both your LSA and your certified airplanes? Well, the Carbon Cub, there's really two types of customers. One is somebody that's just after plane performance. This airplane really does the takeoff, the climb, the short landing, all that. Somebody that wants the best backcountry performance. And then another type of customer is somebody who might be looking for a light sport, maybe specifically because they don't want to hassle with the FAA medical, and yet they want a best-in-class product. They might have learned to fly in a Cub, and they just like the form factor and the performance and the quality of it. Let's go to the interior a little bit because you said you'd done some avionics tweaks. Tell us a little bit about the range of avionics that you're offering in this airplane. Well, we have four different instrument panels you can get because, as you know, no two pilots will want the same panel. We've got everything from basic steam gauges, look out the window low and slow, all the way up to a glass panel that's got a full engine monitor in it, a fuel computer, big screen GPS, everything. It's interesting to me, I think, that somebody who would buy a low and slow airplane would be interested in all that avionics magic. What do they tell you that they say they want to put a full glass panel in an airplane like this? Well, they like the information that modern technology can bring you. I mean, who doesn't like to know exactly how much fuel I have left or what my true airspeed is in real time? Or, you know, to see your navigation situation on a large screen in front of you there. So it, it just gives the pilot more information. And a lot of customers are used to it from their larger aircraft that they might be coming down from. Talk to us a little bit about those sales numbers. You said you had a record year in 2012. How many airplanes did you sell? What's your order book looking like? 2012 was a record year for us. We built and sold 58 aircraft. Six of those were Top Cubs, our certified plane. The rest were light sport. And as of right now, our order book is full through April. So we're pretty optimistic and pleased, knock on wood. Randy, what's ahead for 2013 for Cub Crafters, for this airplane, for the certified product? What do you see in the future? Continued development. Uh, of course, I can't tell you about anything secret we might be working on. Uh, we do have a very active R&D department uh, with a team of engineers working on it. So, uh, But we plan to keep making the product better, and there may be new derivatives coming down the line somewhere. Great. Randy, thanks very much for talking with us. Aero TV is brought to you by... Are you ready for the next generation of light sport airplanes? Check out the all-new Bristol. Fun, fast, and easy to fly. Learn more at www.bristol.com. Pipistrel's innovative new Alpha Trainer has been designed from the ground up for flying school operations. Powered by a Rotax 80 horsepower engine, the Alpha burns only 2.5 U.S. gallons of fuel per hour at 100 to 108 knots, giving you the opportunity to make flight training cost-effective once again. Be sure to check out the Pipistrel Alpha when you're ready to select your next trainer. Get more info at pipistrel-usa.com. No other aircraft explores the limits of the light sport category more than the Carbon Cub SS. It can land and take off in patches that you thought were accessible only to helicopters and hikers, and it does so with a grace, confidence, and control that are Cub hallmarks. If you thought that light sport was just for budget-minded beginners or for veteran pilots stymied by FAA medicals, you simply must fly a Carbon Cub SS. Check us out at www.cubcrafters.com.